Well, I'm very excited. I was very excited to come back to Europe. And I think London is such an amazing city. The spirit here about food has changed so much. So we have so many great restaurants, so many young English chefs, English chefs, and also so many artisans who make cheese, or have butcher stores, or have vegetable stores. So England really had a revolution in food over the last 20 years, just like in the United States in a way. So I think in the old time, people talked about London, England, and the food, forget about it, you had to go to France. Now I think the French have to come over here because London is more exciting than in any city almost in Europe. I think any city I know, it has so many different restaurants, so many from the most three-star restaurants to pizzas to really very, very interesting food and also people who really take care of the food. So I think it's great to see like the cheese, who made the cheese, from what farm it comes. The same thing at the butcher store, you know where it comes from. So it's really from farm to table, even we are in a big city, but it really has taken hold. And for us to open a restaurant, yeah, I think it was really, really exciting. And now we specialize in meats from all over the world a little bit. But I love the meat also, what we have here in England. The grass fed beef is really delicious. The lamb is amazing. So chicken, the ducks are great. So I think we have all the wonderful ingredients. So it's for us, as a chef, it's really an amazing place to be because we start with the best ingredients and then we try not to screw them up too much. Well, every year I come the week before Wimbledon, so I love tennis, so I watch tennis, but we also do some dinners at Cap. Like tonight we have a big dinner there with uh, flavors from all of our restaurants, so it's gonna be a, a lot of fun. And I love to come here because I can check out the markets, I can go maybe out to a farm and so on, so it's really interesting. Well, I love art, so I love to go to, like last night I went to the Masterpiece and uh, walked around and I think it's really exciting. I love theater, I, like I would love to go to the West End, but this time I have no time and see some theater. So that's great and I think uh, all these we go out to restaurants is always fun here. I think really the British cuisine, now the young chefs really made it in something really totally different than what it's in our head. You know, in the old time of our British food, you think it's lamb with overcooked vegetables and so on. Today, you can get food which is so well prepared, if it's beef, lamb, fish, whatever. So I think it really, it's a part of British take on an old traditional thing. But I think today, British food, you really can call it British food, it's really very individual made by chefs. It's like paintings or a songwriter. It's, it's an English song. Well, it really it's specialized to uh, a chef who cooks his own style. Well, you know, we're going to open a new restaurant in Singapore. Uh, as Fargo in Singapore, but I'm very excited to be also opening a restaurant with 10 seats. It's a counter, so we're going to have five chefs cooking and 10 people eating. Uh, we're going to open that in September in Los Angeles, so it's going to be only 10 people every night, and uh, with wine bearing, uh, they all can bring their own wine, so that's going to be exciting because we're going to have really a mixture of the old and new. We have the most modern equipment, like an evaporizer, we have a centrifuge, and we have an emulsifier, and all this modern stuff, but also a wood burning grill, a wood burning oven, and everything. So we're gonna try to mix the old and the new together. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I like it, because all our restaurants are pretty big, so this time I can cook for 10 guests with a few chefs, and I can talk to the guests at the same time, so it's gonna be fun.